Here's what a $25 controller looks like, and here's what a $250 controller looks like. And today, we're gonna compare all these types of controllers to see which one's the best. And here's the first controller. This is the Power Tom Nuke controller. I think this is from Animal Crossing, but they have it now as a controller. And this thing right here costs around $25 on Amazon if you wanna buy this yourself. It's by PowerLab, but let's go ahead and take a look at what's actually inside. There's actually not much. There's controller, instructions manual, kind of just a zip-tied USB cable. But this is the most important part. It's an actual raccoon face. The ears are the triggers. And then there's like secret buttons on the back. And I gotta get a win with this thing. Oh my God. One thing I noticed off the rip, the analog sticks are a lot smaller. Here's a look at one of my PS4 controllers without the control for you see it's pretty big. And when you compare the two, the raccoon is so small. It's not about the size, gentlemen. It's how you work with it. But take a look back at the controller. The raccoon's nose is an actual button. I don't know what that does. The sticks click. All these buttons, I believe are Nintendo buttons. So like instead of it being uh, a or jump x here it's actually b you got a x y so all the buttons are messed up we're gonna have to change them in game but let's go ahead and plug it in now to see how it actually feels bro as soon as i plugged it in the ears light up i feel bad for the lobby i'm about a gun all right so we loaded up warzone just so you guys can see how it works out and for the guns we're gonna be trying to get a win with i went ahead and grabbed classes for you guys for each of the controllers we're gonna use but let's go ahead and see and just kind of test it out so this is your ads fire and the sticks are just so stiff let's go ahead and try it out oh my gosh bro if i move this stick even just a little bit especially up and down oh my gosh it moves drastically it's actually better if you don't really touch the analog stick as much yeah it makes it a lot easier so instead of kind of like going for your jitter shots you just kind of want to let the analog stick do the work for you bro i feel like i'm cheating kind of without even whoa and keep in mind as the games go on the controllers get more and more expensive until we get to the 500 dollars controller at the end let's go ahead and see if we can get a win with this class setup right here i was going to test out this new controller and the guns you guys gave me oh wow oh my god am i the best am i the best bro what okay maybe it's the guns you guys gave me we're gonna switch it up after each game with the new controller but i'm gonna say this it's definitely not the controller at least this one with the tiny joysticks it's so hard to aim i just feel so stiff and restricted aiming at four is like oh my god oh my okay at least hit him once okay oh god teammate i'm coming for your trade got him yep there it is there it is Another one, it's a duck skin. Oh God, oh, his teammates are coming. Aiming up close isn't too bad. Aiming at four, especially without a control freak, which I use, is very difficult. Nice, got him. Oh my God, got him. Got him. You know what it is too? If you kind of land your first shot, after that, you just don't touch your analog stick and you're not gonna miss. And also when I go to the buy station, the buttons like rotate. I should click A, but it backs me out. I actually have to go in, then it's back to default, and then get out of there, and now I'm back to normal. Oh god, got here. Got him. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, I tried my best right there. Yo, is my teammate hacking? What was that? Consider I got 10 kills using this thing right here. I'm already super impressed, but also excited because after every controller we use, the controller's gonna get more and more expensive. All the way till we get to a $500 controller that you have to see. What's up, big dog? Yo, can I ask you guys a question? What controller do you guys use? A PS5? Oh, we got a guy above you at the loadout. A guy above you at the loadout. He's a little bit hurt and a guy above me as well. Nice. There's one guy on me, but you guys can get to me, okay? I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Yeah, they're all the way on top. We can, we can chill down here. Oh shit, he's, he's coming down that hill. Oh god. Nice, good help. I got you full. There's uh, another guy above me, okay? We can chill out here or inside. Your guys' call. Watch out, pigeon. There's a lot of people up here, okay? I'm with you, Par. I'm with you. We can flank this together. At least two up here, maybe more, all right? Yeah, they're inside the house. I'll wait for our team. All right, let's go. Yep, they're in here. They're in here. Another one to your left. Another one to your left. Inside the garage. Inside the garage. Heard you. Heard you. On me. On me. Dead. Oh, my God. Let's go, guys. Come on. Oh, coming in from behind us on the buy station. Let, let them come to us. Let them come to us. They're going to come to us right now. Got one, got one. There's more up there. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not streaming or recording a YouTube video. I'm using a, a raccoon controller, bro. I'm not even kidding. Yo, do you guys got plates? 
Yes, sir. If we win this game, I gotta upload it. Yo, our teammate died behind us. Teammate died behind us. Oh, they're coming. They're coming. They're coming. One chaser. Oh, I'm dead. Oh my god, good help. I zipped up. I'm behind you guys. They're, they're below us, alright? Oh, he's chasing me. Coming up the stairs. Coming up the stairs. Coming up the stairs. Got one. There's more. There's more. Outside, outside, outside. To our left. Outside, to our left. We can put, put him up right, up. right there. Nice! Oh no. I got him. I got him. I got him. You can pick him up. They're gonna come up the stairs, okay? They're gonna come up those stairs. Hey, good live, good live, good live. I got you. I love that. Good, good ping. One behind us. 3v3. He's coming down the hill. Oh, good. We keep the high ground here. We good, we good. Got one. Another one under you, under you, under you, under you, behind you, behind you, behind you. Behind you. Got, let's go! Come on! Yo, with the raccoon controller, baby, let's go! Good win, you guys, good win. And here's TikTok's number one controller. The GameSir G7SE has been all over my TikTok for you page and probably yours too. And everyone's talking about how this controller is literally like the next scuff for Battle Beaver. It says it includes Hall Effect 3D joysticks, responsive membrane buttons, Hall Effect analog triggers and vibrations, and even buttons on the back. Let's go ahead and open it up. So inside the first thing, you're gonna find the braided cable, which is actually really good. A lot of you guys might have the same problem where it kind of disconnects while you're playing. This is gonna help out a lot. So impressed with that as well as what looks to be the xbox game pass one month unlimited it comes with a legit free xbox pass if you guys want this let me scratch it off whoever wants this you guys can legit have it i don't have an xbox i'm a playstation guy but there you guys go free one month xbox pass boom for the naughty game and then of course like a kind of like sticker and then i'm guessing this is like a bunch of other stuff that's not even in english but, but i can't even read that what, what does it even mean cool sticker though slap this bad boy right here on the box and then most importantly is actually the controller which is in here as the last item and let me just say the quality of this thing actually feels like an xbox controller and the first gun we're testing out with is actually your guys ram 9 i got over from twitch which will be a good gun to test it out with especially because the sticks on this controller i'm still breaking in but with the hall effect 3d joysticks it has if we go to options all the way to controller tab scroll all the way down to dead zone input but you guys can see i don't know if it's because of a new controller but it has zero stick drift whatsoever and of course for the I remember we partnered up with your guys' attack eradicator class setup, which also has no recoil whatsoever. You guys have to test out this class. We're also going to switch it up and get a win this time on Vondell instead of Fortune's Keep to see if we can do it with the TikTok controller we got off the shop. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. Here I come. Oh my God, you're not going nowhere. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I look like a party over here. What's going on over here? I'm all. We're finna go shopping or what? Don't worry, I got Yui's. Don't worry, I got Yui's. No hiding from me. Okay, off the rip, I will say a positive note on this. The six actually feel really loose, making it easy to aim, especially at long distance. And movement should feel good as well. I haven't moved that much, but just loose sticks are kind of like what every player likes. Sif sticks, uh, they restrict you too much. Oh my God. No, he came up. Oh, thank God he came back down. Hold that. Yo, team, mm -hmm. Yo, team can hold that too, big dog. Oh my god, out the air as well with this attack class setup. Also, this is attack evolver, not the attack eradicator. Two different guns completely. I like that. I like that. Come here. I like that a lot. Other one down there. What was that noise? You guys hear that? What was that? Yo, 10 kills off rim ain't too bad with an Xbox controller. Oh, they got loadout over here. We can definitely third party this. You can hear me? Can you hear me? Uh, what's up? What are you guys doing, man? Oh, yeah. See you later. Hey, I'll see you guys in the queue. <laughs> I'll see y'all in the queue. <laughs> also, on the positive notes, the face buttons on the controller. So that's going to be like your B, Y, X, and A. They're actually pretty responsive as well. Quick and easy to use. Some controllers over time, when you use them, or even some brand new ones, you'll click it and they take, they feel sticky and they don't come up right away. Oh, my God. It's a party over here, bro. Yep, hold that. You're dead. Up top, other one. You're dead. Now there's one downside I can already notice with this controller and it's your L2, R2. You can't really like, when you click them down, they're not like mouse clicks. So like 
they take a while for them to respawn oh god not what i meant to do versus like newer gen controllers right now you just tap them and they already activate this one you have to hold down which is kind of like an old way of using the controller so i think that's not bad but it's not great either if you shoot with the l2r2 it's not that big a deal oh my god out the air bro bro my him Am I him? Bro, I might... Oh, he's cheating. Bro, I might be an Xbox Pro after this, man. I might have to do a little switch over. All right, let's go. We're end game though. This solo versus quads match has actually been real tough. So let's see if we go ahead and close out the dub here. I'd be lying to say we had an easy rotation. We should probably... For sure, let's buy a gas mask. And we'll rotate like kind of lower half. Dude, there's still 11 teams up. Oh my goodness. Oh, heartbeat sensor. We could actually use this. This guy to our right. Oh, I see him. Heartbeat sensor is the most underrated use of utility, man. Now, to scale 1 through 10, what do I rank this controller? It's a lot better than the last two that we had. And for 40 bucks, it's actually not bad. Especially if you can put a control for on it. Now, is it our number one controller? I would say no, but for the price, it is. Bro, this zone is going to be the death of me. I think the goal is to maybe hold edge zone here as long as possible, then jump over. Right there. Yeah, we gotta go low here. Bro, uh, I'm in a, like a pro player game right now. What, what is happening? Oh, I mean, this is what we just called dead. Actually, no, I forgot. No. huge mistake because our next controller is this thing right here i don't even know if we could call it a controller and i didn't read anything on it i just realized to buy it because it was more expensive than the last one and well there's one analog stick the other one here you have to play like this to move and basically this thing right here is a mix of a mouse and a controller there's a bunch of buttons on the back like the mouse click buttons right here i mean a bunch of space shift alt all this stuff it's super light like you could literally throw this thing with like this is your scroll wheel right here your escape button your analog sticks right here but they don't really do anything let me just show you guys what it looks like in game so as soon as this thing's plugged in this is your mouse right here and the game actually will register this as a mouse and keyboard if i go over here to the firing range just click on this you can see i can't sprint with this and if i want to ads it's this button here this one back here to shoot and i'll kind of just <laughs> you can't sprint with this and you got to use your thumb as your mouse instead of your whole hand. I've never seen something like this before, especially, I don't know, with the mouse, you idiot. I thought you shoot with the left and aim with the right one. Yeah, it's flipped here. Right here is your scroll wheel, like I mentioned. So you can kind of rotate between the guns, which we'll show you guys here in a second. And although you can't sprint, if you click this button once, it will instantly drop shot you, which I think is considered macros. And if you don't know what that means, it basically means like modding your controller to do something that like you shouldn't be able to do. For example, like hitting your YY button and it rotates your gun five times instead of twice or like this analog stick call it an instant drop shot basically so i don't know like if this thing is cheating or not nor do i want to find out the jump fine the shift button doesn't work so i can't sprint with this so we're gonna have to figure out something else and we're gonna move on to the more expensive controller which is gonna catch a lot of you guys by surprise so instead i stole warzone's biggest cheaters controller a swag i completely forgot i had this i took this from his house about a year ago there's a youtube video on it and i never used it 
but we have it in our hands so today we're gonna test it out let's just take a look at the controller first off rip something i really like compared to the tiktok controller is it has two different analog sticks so you don't need a control freak because i think this is called a scuff stick and then this one right here is just a normal ps4 stick i believe this is a ps5 impact it has two sticks on the back right here i believe this is your jump and this is your crouch button so you can slide cancel play like that the buttons itself aren't mouse clicks meaning you kind of just click them down and they're just normal feeling buttons nothing really special on that the d-pad is about the same as well nothing special there is a cronus plugged in but we'll ignore that it does have some grip to it which is great especially if you're sweaty or you game long periods of time but the thing i want to talk about it most and it's in big comparison to the tiktok controller is actually the back sticks now this is a bit old-fashioned i guess it makes sense for someone like swag you have these turnable sticks on the back of your controller that you can manually kind of turn and when you turn it all the way around and you click down this is kind of what a normal controller feels like and both sides have this but you basically turn it and once it's turned all the way now it doesn't have to go all the way down for it to register you can basically spam this making your trigger finger extremely fast i believe face swag did a video on this a while back too back in the day but of course let's try out your guys class setups and see if we can get a win with it and the first gun we're using today comes from my subscriber user he gave us the mtz class setup now he did say the site was preference and let me just say this i actually found a different site that could be the next meta so instead of using the core eagle site we went ahead and switched over to the cronin endless mwp12 which looks like your normal site however you get a very clear picture aiming stability increase and your ads time which no other site has so it's basically like running the nidar site but with a faster ads time which seems completely broken especially with no recoil and we partnered that class setup with this one right here made from sarah one of my other subscribers that gave us the striker class setup and let me just say this thing has no recoil whatsoever and i'm super excited to try this simply because that a lot of people have been talking about the striker nine not really the striker and it seems to be if not better just on par with the striker nine this could be potential meta so we're gonna go ahead and try to get a dub in a solo versus quads match on fortunes keep using this class setup but i will warn you there are a lot of hackers out in the game right now so prayers to me let's go give it a shot all right so that you guys a striker build and of course the mtz i'm excited about not only the strike but also the mtz because this is a build i've never used before with a different site and they feel great so far those guys just got walked and the striker is another gun that i think has like gone ignored and the main reason for that is oh my god i love the ego chality man everybody's all excited of the striker nine not really a striker and it's so far feels pretty good with the swag controller in terms of the sticks they feel different but different not in a bad way different more or less like loose yet sturdy at the same time which is good to have on a controller i'm not a fan of the usb port because if I don't hold this controller a certain way, kind of what I talked about earlier, it'll disconnect and I'll like have to re-plug it in. It's like having that one loose controller that just, it just sucks having on. Yes. Yep, just like that, it's my baby. 10 already, oh my god. I just beat Swag's PR. For example, most newer controllers like a PS5, they have a USB-C, which is a lot harder for them to basically disconnect, which is great, especially for my gamers like myself. You don't know what I'm talking about? I believe the new iPhones have them too. I got pooped on. Bro, look at my guns yeah. glowing in the dark. What the heck? But going down the list, another positive are actually these six on the back, your L2R2. Like I showed you guys, it's that manual way to adjust them, but they feel great. They feel consistent. But I'm not too sure on the longevity of them because they are plastic. But so far, I mean, if you're just a casual gamer that games for a while, it shouldn't be that big of a problem. Someone like me that plays an unhealthy amount every single day, I'm talking eight hours a day. I can feel like over time, maybe after like a month, just like your six, they'll kind of like wear out. But also in terms of the class apps I'm using, they're really good so far. The MTZ site, this might be my new meta, which I'll switch to it maybe in a video. But I believe this site increases your ADS time while still having literally no recoil as you guys can see. That fire cell, let's actually buy it in pants for me to help out here. A little bit of the night art, it has like very low visual recoil, making it very easy to like track shots, control recoil. Back when it the striker oh my goodness like no troll when i say this but this striker class setup might be one of the best SMPs i've ever in like a recent video not of all time always got wall axe oh that guy actually might be genius oh my god what a peak of a lifetime that guy might have literally the best game we're just kind of playing his zone here. I don't have that many plates. I don't know why. This guy right here is insane. Maybe we go for that.
fact that we're alive right now. Oh, it's a 1v4. Bro, this guy actually might be cheated. I'm pretty sure that guy's wall. Bro, he, he definitely cheated. Oh my god. It's a 1v4 against cheaters. I'm not letting him get the kill. I'm not letting him get the kill. They are not gonna get the kill. I'm not letting cheaters get the kill and get the satisfaction. The guy, kill him. You can might. I can go now. Come on. Oh god, they're hunting me. I hear him. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> There's so many cheaters out right now, man. I'll take that as a dub. Bro's name was I'm not hacking. Hashtag 6853. Oh my god. And for a $500 controller, we have one sent and made specifically for me by Battle Beaver. With a ton of different customizations that I'm gonna show you guys what they are and how they work. But let's first take a look at the casing. As you guys can see, some pretty rock hard solid casing here. It even has my custom logo here. So it's like perfect for traveling, but let's go ahead and take a look at what's inside. And what may look like a normal controller is anything but that. Of course, you can customize the controller to whatever your liking is, but let's go ahead and talk about the specifics on what makes this controller so different. So every button you see on the controller is actually a mouse click. Basically, what that means is any button I click here is going to be the same as clicking a mouse, making it a very fast response time, which also go hand in hand by changing this from a USB to a USB-C that is powered just like a PS5. Basically, a PS4 controller with a PS5 engine. The thumbsticks are mouse clicks as well, alongside the triggers on the back, your L2, R2, and your R1 and L1. But for the triggers on the back, it's the same thing. You just have to tap it. Rather than kind of adjusting anything, you literally just go in and click, and it's already ready to go. You guys can see how little it actually moves. It probably hear it too now i do have one control in the back of the controller because i do play double claw however you can go ahead and add buttons on any spot on your controller and what makes this a little bit different compared to a scuff controller these are actual paddles and you can see they can be a little bit wonky i know a lot of people break them I, that's just what i've heard and although you could replace them these this is just a button like this is a button with the mouse click as well same as this button but just on the back making it like the durability i feel like lasts a lot longer i personally have never had any problem with this back button and it's one of the things that i use probably the most but moving on from that not only do we have the mouse click button here the mouse clicks on all the face buttons the digital triggers and the l1 r ones as well as the thumbsticks the d-pad has also changed as well normal people hold their controller like this because i played double claw you'll see i hold it like this and so anytime i have to click the d-pad sometimes i can overstretch or understretch it but with this added button right here i can no longer click this this actually has no activation feature so there's gonna be less misclick and instead i actually have the grip I could use right here which is as well a mouse click basically being its own separate button activated right here which I think is phenomenal on top of that you guys are probably wondering lucky why did you get just basic blue or no crazy color scheme or large decal or anything like that stickers and that has to do with grip because battle we use a paint called soft paint on not only your front but your back as well make it a lot easier to grip that controller and have that tight friction rather than using something glossy or maybe even metallic which will just like over time especially with sweat and stuff like that it, it'll kind of ruin the grip of the controller and on top of that i have not even kidding about 20 of these controllers laying around so they're all just in different colors the blue one is what i'm currently using right now and lastly the thumbsticks right here there are ways you could actually increase the thumbstick tension making it a little bit difficult to move left and right that kind of helps out with people's aim however i like the opposite personally so i changed my thumbsticks from ps4 to ps5 sticks kept default tension but i go ahead and partner this up with something called a control freak if you guys don't know control freak is basically like an extension of your analog stick to raise it now there's three levels small medium and high as well as different grips this one is a modern warfare 2 one this one's called omni and this one's low so you have your low and then an extremely high one and to be honest these things go for maybe like 10 15 bucks and they come in a pair of two but you only have to use one and the one that i use is called inferno and i go ahead and add it on my right analog stick because that's the one i aim with it snaps on there and there you go you guys can kind of see the height difference in the common mistake i see people using these or even promoting them it's like oh they throw them on both analog sticks well that defeats the purpose it's about having the one you aim with at a higher one rather than the one you move with because it this is supposed to be a little bit faster response time but adding on to my controller and the 15 dollars inferno control freak you have a 500 dollars controller but nothing matters unless we test it out so you can see how it works the guns we're going to be using today i actually made myself i figured instead of using your guys class for this one we use mine so this is the hrm and then of course the mtz 
and in this video i talked about loose sticks a lot but i never told you guys why i think they're so important and honestly why i love them but they help counter horizontal recoil so you'll see when i start shooting i'm constantly strafing left and right to cancel out the horizontal and you guys will see just how easy it is but it only really helps when you have loose sticks if your tension's too high well you can't really do that or you'll do it but it just won't be effective and just to show you guys what the recoil looks like on the mtz when i'm not controlling it it's pretty crazy versus a slight pull down but mainly just going left and right how easy it is to kind of make that gun look like it has no recoil and i'll make sure to give you guys a class ups on both these guns let's go ahead and test them out oh my gosh it's a family of four and they're trying to go to disneyland well we have four players in front of us and we also have my loadout so let's see what's going to be better them or my guns not him not him not him all right definitely not him and well I need to max win. They're gone, baby. Now, although we will talk about the classes, mainly what we want to focus on here is the controller itself and why I think this is the number one controller and obviously the most expensive. The constant additions I added to the controller were to, for like a lot of it, the comfortability rather than the competitive advantage. Don't pick them up, little man. Do not pick them up. I told you, that's what you get. You, I heard you cheat on, cheat on the game of cards. Hold that, scammer. Oh my God, they just keep coming. Wait. What's gonna Zat? Wait, is that new? But to check after this game. Oh, true. All right, so it is. For example, a player like me who plays double claw, I don't really have any buttons in the back other than the one that is for the ping, just like that, which does take some time to get used to, but because it's just pinging, it's not that difficult. And you could shoulder ping stuff or track players like that. Keep on peeing. Oh, well, he died. But like I mentioned, the other features that this have, including the mouse clicks, the ping button on the back, USB going from USB to USB-C. The wall hacks, I mean, what are you guys doing over there, bro? Stay out of it. What do you mean turn my controller off? Stay out of it, bro. I, I'm trying to shoot you guys through the wall. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. All right, bro. Was that really was that really necessary to mock me like that? Seriously? Oh, uh -oh. Uh -oh. really? Seriously? You think that's funny? You're going to mock me constantly? Don't do that. That's rude. Dude, seriously, stop doing that. Stop mocking me, bro. All right, joke's over, bro. Yup. Oh. Yup, joke's over. Nope. Joke's over! Oh, would you mock this, huh? Oh, what's not what's funny anymore, huh? What happened? I thought it was all fun and games. How come you're not mocking me no more? Did you come back for part two? Did you come back for part two? Is that what happened? Oh, no. Oh, no. Suck, I suck? Okay. Is that what's happening? Say, say I suck, say I suck. I'm not gonna get so lucky. Wow, I've never heard that one before. That was adorable. <laughs> You're not gonna get so lucky. What the f is that? What is this? What? There's the next class I'm seeing on the screen if you guys wanna try it out. I heard it's a one tap. All right, well that guy literally had a weapon from God. So uh, we gotta hopefully get our loot back. 21 kills here, 16 teams remaining. This is gonna be quite difficult. Oh my god, how they know? Bro, leave me alone, bro. Leave me alone, bro. Please. I was just kidding, bro. It was it was just a prank, bro. Oh my god, I saw him. It's just a prank! I hate this game sometimes. Yeah, I hate it too, especially when I have to catch a tongue on oh my ass! Who's rocking a tongue not you, buddy. Hold that. <laughs> Amazon delivery. Yeah, I'm definitely in danger here. Listen, if you were not a double claw player, you could also kind of add buttons to the back if you wanted to. No. Stop, guys, guys, please. Please, stop. He's just a kid. Leave him alone. He's just a kid. God damn it. Dude, now they're confused. We got to rotate castle. On the buy, on the buy, on the buy. All of them are on the buy. All of them. Except me. Except me. Yup. How does it feel dying to the Reaper Yo, Reaper? I'm not clapping your cheeks. Okay, that's not what. No, stop it. You're going to sit right there. You're going to watch me dominate. No, I'm not clapping your cheeks. Stop. I'm not doing it. I'm not. Brother, look me in the eyes. Look me in the eyes. I am not going to clap you, bro. No, they're not. They're nervous. Look at them. They're nervous. They're standing over there because they're, they're scared. Right now, bait. Yep. And you guys fell for it. How sad. You guys fell for the bait. Where are you guys going? 
What happened? What happened, guys? I kept you alive for a reason, but it's not the reason you told me. I'm not clapping your cheeks. It's because I wanted to bait you, okay? Want to make that clear for everybody watching. You like clapping cheeks? Other men's cheeks, uh, it's, you could do it. I don't, but you could. Hey, is my boy back? Oh my god, did you just did you just knife a dummy? You just knifed a dummy. I saw that. I just shot him. Where are you going? I did. Where? I, did. Ah, ah, I love that idea. Ah, hey, yo, that is crazy. What's up, big dog? Oh, I'm mad. Why you I'm mad? mad that, Why you mad, big dog? Hey, right, listen, I I'm shot mad, I shot the dummy. Back. I threw the disabled, yo. Buy me back like Ah, squad wipe. Ah, ah, how? A oh, guardian? Oh, I'm about to go sicko mode. I dare somebody to push me. Yeah, that was not the play, was it, little man? You shouldn't be doing that. If you're new to the channel, drop that follow. If you're watching the video, drop a like. You're starting to piss me off because you're watching it for free. So at least leave me a like and a follow. You didn't kill me. You're a big fan. I appreciate you watching the YouTube videos, man. Or or the streams. Is that a dog? Dude, I mean, I'm on stream. Come to the stream. I'm live on twitch.tv slash Lucky Chamu, okay? Yo, what's up, man? I'm live on Twitch if you got, if you want to come by and say what's good, you know? Then you can take your picture. But I, I got to focus up, okay, little man? I love you, bro. Oh, I'm in there, man. Oh, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in. He's coming to the bus station. I'm a ballsy, man! And my balls got chopped! Whoa!